What's up, Cancer, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general versus message for the 28th through the 3rd. Please keep in mind that the time frame is only for me, so whenever you see this message, that's when you are meant to see it. Also, only take what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements. Also, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Everybody that has already done that, thank you, thank you, thank you. It really does help me out. Let me force it. Thank you. Three more. Thank you. All right. All right, so we have communication, travel, messages in the reverse, Mercury, so Virgo, um, Virgo, Gemini energy here. Also, it's like you're you're not listening, you're not listening to your ancestors, basically. Like, how can I say this? It's like you are rejecting the messages that you're getting, the downloads that you're getting. You're thinking that you're know you're knowing best. You're not listening to your intuition here. A lot of you are um are it's like you gain the confidence to leave a situation after someone has cheated on you or treated you badly here. Um a lot of you may have not have been taking good care of yourself prior to this time. All right, let's see. All right, we got resistance, guard, closed off, and this is in the reverse here. So some of you guys are, are struggling with resisting someone is what I'm getting. Oh, shizzle. All right, thank you. Okay, we got epiphany and breakthrough. Okay, so some of you guys are definitely going to be in a place where you're going to be, um, during this time frame, you're going to be listening to those ancestors and guys. It's like all of a sudden, everything just kind of snaps into place and you kind of understand like what you're supposed to be doing or um, how someone really feels about you or how you want to move forward. This is also mutual energy with you and your person. But I'm going to say you, like I said, take what resonates. All right. Then we have clinging, south no comfort zone, and sabotage and guilt here. All right. So someone is clinging to a situation or they're struggling not to cling to a situation that they feel comfortable in here. Um, somebody also may be feeling a bit of guilt or they're struggling not to feel guilty about a situation they may also be feeling like they've sabotaged this union or sabotage um the connection here some of you are dealing with somebody that doesn't feel any guilt about um the things that they did to cause the end of this relationship all right thank you spirit for clear and concise messages Cancer, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus, and Mercury. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody feels like this person is bad for their health. Like this person may have you very much stressed out here. All right. We got skepticism. So slow down here. So somebody is doesn't really believe in this connection doesn't believe that the intentions are real here and this is why this person is moving slow here and this also may be why this person was um in some sort of third party situation here with a possible karmic here it's like if you offered this person some type of like um some type of love offer it's it's fucked up but it's like this person answered your love offer by like seeing other people or um allowing you to find out about another person or it's almost like you found out about somebody else like almost directly after that here and that's what that epiphany is about all right we got desire lust sexual chemistry here anxiety scared panic ascension spiritual awakening i'm sorry spiritual path awakening wholeness overjoyed smiling so some of you guys like i said you're having an epiphany and you're moving upward it's like you're understanding what you want to be happy and you're not no longer letting anybody get in your way of that also um 
a lot of you guys are maybe afraid that you're not going to have the same connection with this person um uh, like that you have with this person as far as like a passionate connection here for some of you like this person uses sex as intimacy so like it's like a way to like i don't know it seems like to control you or something they use like lust how can i say that All right, we got New Year's rumors. Yeah, see, like, okay, rumors. There's a lot of rumors being spread. Something significant about this holiday, New Year. So something could be happening around New Year's or something is rumored to happen around New Year's. For some of you, um, somebody could be saying that you're pregnant here. I'm also getting that you could be getting an apology here. Or be get, giving an apology during this time. We got sexual fantasy. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. And I feel like this is like holding on to your energy. Like I said, this is like this desire. Like they, they're keeping some sort of hold of you because of sex here. And it's like that's keeping your energy stagnant. Because we got purify, purify your energy and aura. Like this can be forcing you to dream about this person here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get your person's intent. All right, so we have breaking point. Things are becoming too much to bear. We got karmic. What the fuck did I just say? Karmic, third party relationship lesson. Control. I want to feel control. And okay, so this is like written poorly but it says control. I want to feel in control then to lose myself in love. So it's like this person like i said it's like this person <laughs> they were afraid of the love that you were offering or like i don't know this is very immature whatever the fuck they decided it's like this person decided to get with somebody else because that's a way of them controlling their feelings for you or some shit like that that shit is weird okay don't nobody got time for weird ass shit all right let's get more about your person's intent during this time Thank you, Spirit, for clear and concise messages. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have, yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. Yeah, this person is it's not committal. You could be dealing with the Capricorn here, or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this person is not wanting to nurture this connection. Or at least that's the energy that they're putting off here. That they're not wanting to nurture this connection. I, like I said, they're doing any and everything to basically fucking... Uh, I don't know how to say that. It's like they they want to keep their emotions locked down. Like lock and key. Yeah, five of pentacles here. With the four of pentacles. Right. This person is trying super hard. A lot of you definitely are dealing with a earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is like this person is trying super hard to hold back their feelings and emotions from you at this time. Like, yeah, it's like as much as, like, <laughs> they are trying so hard. Like, they do not want to, they don't want you to know how they really feel. Because they want to have control in this situation. For a lot of you, they're wanting to have control of their feelings for you. Yeah. Yeah, page of pentacles here. They show their love with sex. Like, this is legit what they're saying. Queen of Wands, Pisces, Aries, Energy, and then the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the page of pentacles, more earth energy here. It's like this person shows you that they care or show you that they want this relationship with you by sexual expression, you know? It's like almost like a send-off, though, because I'm not getting that they they just not there it's like they want to keep you stuck though they don't want you moving on to find something that's a bit more deeper let's get intent behind the scenes there's a lot going on behind the scenes things are happening that you can't see so 
obviously we got lockbox closed and trapped frustrated right because you're trying to figure out why this person won't open up to you or why this person it seems like they're really coming towards you and then all of a sudden they pull back all the way restricted I feel restricted and confined by my circumstances. Look at how that heart, it, like these are two like situations where it's a lock the fuck down. Look at that SOS, like I need fucking help. You know, that's how you feeling like, hmm. It's like you feeling trapped by the fact that you love this person or the fact that you care about this person. That's fucked up, Cancer. And I'm sorry, cause I'm already knowing. It's, you probably might be dealing with a narcissist for some of you. yeah okay yeah yeah you want you want so badly for it to have some sort of great union with this person with the um with the will of fortune here uh leo taurus aquarius um scorpio energy you want to have such a new beginning with this person you you want something stable here the title card here you want a stable relationship with this person That's what you want and you're feeling like you are being held and standstill by not being able to move forward and have that with this person. You're feeling very lonely here with the um, Hermit card in the reverse here. You're also feeling like um, I'm tired of this shit. Like I don't want to have to wait for this person to get that shit together anymore. Virgo energy here knight of wands and that's why a lot of you are thinking about stepping off from this union because you feel like it's not being nurtured um and you can get sex from anywhere you really wanted something different with this person which is why you stay but if you don't feel like you're getting that then you're like fuck this shit Taurus libra energy with the um with the empress card let's see your person's challenge during this time all right, so we got jumping to conclusions. You may be jumping to conclusions without all of the information. We have divine feminine. And we have reconciliation. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. All right, so, okay. Okay. So I feel like I'm getting two things. So for some of you, this you'd kind of decide that you can go you like you're not giving me what i want fine i can go find what i want somewhere else fuck this right and you're deciding to step away from this person because of it and then this person now they super fucking big mad because you decided that you didn't no longer want to wait for this person to get their shit together right so now this person is trying to figure out how to get you back right um, especially if you are in some sort of, or you could have just stepped off from this person and now they think that you're dealing with somebody else because you decided that you didn't want to deal with they shit, right? Um, so they're wanting to come back to you because they know that you are their, um, their divine feminine or divine mask. It's not gender specific, but then also I'm getting that this person could be in between you and somebody that they feel like they have some sort of strong soul connection with that could definitely be that karmic because, um, you you can have a soul contract with the karmic, but it's just not a soulmate. But you can have like a, it's like, it's basically like it's a lesson that you need to learn in that situation. That's not necessarily who you're going to end up with. And maybe this person is needed to learn this lesson so that they can be more open to love because it don't look like they, they are during this time. Okay. All right. So we got the two of cups. Yep. Two of Cups, this is about a divine feminine, divine masculine relationship here. This is soulmate energy. So this person is trying to come to terms with feeling um, this way. They're Like I said, this person is struggling so hard to keep their emotions um, away from you here. And it's making them fucking lonely. Yeah, they feel, they feel like this shit is going to fail if they open up to you. They don't feel like this is necessarily going to work out anyway. So it's kind of like, what's the purpose? What the, what's the purpose of me being open and honest with you about how I feel? Um, this person is also confused to if this would be able to... Um, it's like, like I said, this person could have some narcissistic um, traits. But I'm also getting that this person is pretty much... Um, very insecure here and this is why they're very afraid to be open with you about how they really feel about you because of their insecurities yep look but it's like once they heal themselves here 
once they heal themselves and how they view relationships because the title card right here in the reverse so it's like once they figure out why they don't want stability in relationships they're going to be able to move forward and be more happy leo uh sagittarius energy here let's get what your challenge is during this time here all right we got dead something has come to a complete end roller coaster highest high adrenaline rush we have celebration having you in my life is worth celebrating every day okay so what i'm getting is a lot of you are finding it difficult to really put your foot down and step away from this connection because it's not fucking moving forward and you're not understanding that shit is not gonna move forward until this person feels like they could possibly lose you this person keeps pulling you in pushing you away pulling you in pushing you away and it's like until this person feels like they can no longer play games with you you're gonna continue to go through that same fucking cycle over and over again all right let's see what your challenge is here cancer thank you spirit for clear and concise messages all right so we have the um, knight of swords here which is aquarius energy as well as capricorn energy here so a lot of you are very like having some obsessive thoughts about this person you can't you can't stop thinking about this person and all the time that you put into this union with the seven of seven of swords seven of pentacles you're really focused on all of the time that you wasted in this connection here that's why you keep giving this person a lot of patience and keep hoping that this person changes and um it's, it's kind of like give you the energy that you feel like they they can like it's like live up to the purpose like you've kind of made up in your mind the potential of this person and you're wanting this person to match that potential you know what i'm saying yeah you're wanting to transfer transform this union into something more serious here magician card aries uh gemini energy aries pisces with the queen of wands you're tired of waiting you know you're tired of waiting for this relationship to take off here you know you're wanting to manifest a new beginning and change this shit from being delayed from you you feeling like you you're always in standstill here with this person okay let's get the actions here we have confusion here confusion and conflict may be going on at this time we have pretending fake living beyond means and we have ego i lost myself while trying to save my ego yeah that's coming back to control here so this person is really acting like they don't really care or they don't care how things work out with you but they fucking do you know um, i'm also getting that yeah, this person definitely possibly has some uh, toxic energy. You also may see this person out hanging out, living a best fucking life. If you're in separation from this person, baby, they sad as fuck. Don't um, look at it no type of way. Yep, because they want a whole new chance. Look at how that shit popped out. Scorpio energy, death card. They want a second chance with you. Page of Pentacles. But see, they still in that immature energy and not really being able to give you anything. Right, nine of nine of um what's that nine of wands in the reverse here this person is definitely in a place where they have a lot of anxiety here um and again they're very defensive of how much effort do they want to put in it but they want another fucking chance like baby you can't have it both ways but this is why they acting like they don't really care because they're kind of expecting you to come towards them that may have been what you did in the past a lot coming towards them instead of um instead of them you know y'all get into an argument you the first one to say sorry type shit all right seven of swords here with the ten of cups yeah this person is struggling struggling with the fact that this could possibly really be over because they don't want it to be you could be dealing with the capricorn here with the world card or leo taurus aquarius or scorpio yeah um ten of cups in the reverse they and they really know that you are the best love of their life and they're still struggling with really coming towards you with this offer unfortunately i'm sorry babe because it looked like they just they're not ready they're not fucking ready yet to really get their shit together and explain it's like you got to be accountable 
you know, and this person isn't being accountable. Let's see the other actions here for you. Life purpose, finding your life purpose. So a lot of you are going to find a different soulmate and move towards them. Others, you're going to find the confidence to be able to stand up to this person and let them know, like, I'm not dealing with that. All right? Look, look. Trash, disregarding, throwing out. Fuck you. Like I said, fuck you. Divinely guided. This relationship is being divinely guided and protected. And it could be, but it also, things happen in divine timing. And this person may not be ready right now. Okay? Like, y'all may have that connection. Y'all may really, you know, be meant for each other. But baby, not right now because this person isn't really giving that energy. All right, let's go ahead and see here. What other... What actions here, Spirit? Thank you. All right, we got, yep, you're going to be focusing on yourself with the um, Taurus Libra energy with the Empress card. You're going to be focusing on yourself here. King of Swords here. You may be very, start being very cold to this person, deciding, like, I'm good. I don't need to deal with this. Um, could be dealing with the Gemini here with the King of um, Swords or a Pisces. I'm sorry, could be dealing with Pisces, but, or a Taurus here. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, because you like, okay. Like, it's like you're no longer struggling with this shit. It's like, okay, you don't want me? You don't want to be in this connection with me? Fine. It's like you giving up, throwing in the towel on this shit. You know, I'm going to give you what you want type shit. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm going to give you what you asked for. Yeah. And it's almost, you, you find a certain level of victory here with the um with the six of wands here five pentacles in the reverse and the um i'm sorry and the world card so both of y'all had the world card right here at the bottom of the deck which is crazy so this person is feeling like it's over you still have a little bit of hope in this relationship even though you putting this person out in the cold it's like i'm gonna let it go and if it's meant for me it'll come back to me type of energy you know you're kind of leaving that door open but this person don't know it because they feel like this shit is over which i feel like good on them because they need to feel that way to feel like they can't treat you any type of way anymore okay all right let's see what messages your person have for you and I'm sorry, y'all, that this is so long. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Give me at least two, Spirit. Give me at least two. For Cancer's person, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. One more. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. all right look i need more time what the fuck we've been saying this whole time they not fucking ready you are my everything and it's crazy because the ten of cups was on the back was on the back on one of those things you are my everything and then we have i'm too afraid to talk right and then look I think we should slow down. Look, I want to get you drunk. Back to that sexual energy. And look, what did I say? I think we should slow down because they're not ready. Because they're skeptical of the connection. They're not used to no love like you. And that's fucking why. All right, let's get what signs you guys could be dealing with during this time here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support, you guys. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Thank you. All right, we got uh, Mercury Energy, Virgo, Gemini here. And that's basically Spirit just really, like, talking <laughs> to you right now at this point. Because that's, that's what that card says. Mercury, too. We got Uranus, so Aquarius Energy here. Then we have Jupiter. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We also have Pisces. Now, what did I say? Because remember when I said, and I was like, well, maybe Pisces, because that's just what popped in my head. But... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.